In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to make a montage with Photoshop Elements 9. Now there's lots of software on the net that lets you create a montage collages fairly easily, but we're going to do one from scratch. And it's a good way of learning how to use the crop tool, change canvas size, and learn how to align things in Photoshop Elements. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our first image that we want to use in our montage. In this case, I'm going to open up this image here now, first thing I want to do is I want to have square images for my montage. So to do that, I'm going to first use my crop tool. Once you click on the crop tool, you have lots of options that pop up up here. You can change the width, the height, resolution. And if you click here on this arrow, there's custom sizes that have already been selected that you can use. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to use 5x5. Five five. I'm going to make the resolution 150. Usually use 300 if it's going to print. This is just going to be on the on the net. So 5x5 five five is good for me. So in this case, whatever you want to crop down, I'm going to crop down this image here. I get a check mark. I can check on it. Now I've cropped this down. I can zoom out by holding Apple Dash. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I want to add more images here beside this. So I'm going to go up here and click on image, resize, canvas size. So right now I'm at 13 centimeters by 13 centimeters. Maybe I want to maybe triple that. Um, 13 times 3. Maybe I'll go 39. Hit OK. And I can choose the canvas color. So if you want it to be black, white, gray, Maybe I'll choose white, click OK. Again, I can hold my apple and dash to zoom out. So now I have my image in the middle there. Now to add other images, it's fairly simple. I'm going to click on File, Open, like this image here, more yellows. Okay. So again, I'm going to grab my crop tool. It's already it's saved my, from my previous 5x5, five five, 150. This just makes it easier to add things. So I'm going to add maybe um, the yellow of the truck and the shirt. Click OK. You can zoom out again. Now if I want to move this image, I can grab my Move tool, go right on the image, and drag it down into my project bin right on top of this one. So it's placed it right on top of this other one. Now I can start moving this image around, or if I want to keep it square, or level with this other image, I can hold shift on my keyboard, click with my mouse and drag to the right or drag to the left. Okay, I can drag to the right here and set it over here. Okay. And I'm happy with that. Looks like my canvas isn't really quite big enough. I can resize my canvas, make it a bit wider. Maybe I'll we'll make this 44. There we go. Okay. Time to add another image. I'll open this one. Crop tool. Again, it saved my presets there. <clears throat> I like the yellow up here. Grab my move tool. I'm going to drag this on top. Places it right on top. I can hold shift and move it a little bit this way. Okay. Now, one thing I can do now is I'm just going to save it. In Photoshop Elements, I want to save things as Photoshop files. So if I look here, I'm going to call this Montage, save it on my desktop. Make sure it's called Photoshop. I'm including the layers. Okay, I've already saved that before. And by keeping it as a PSD file, I can have all my layers on the side here. And I can make changes later on. When I'm ready to post this on the internet, I don't want to post it as a PSD file. I want to save it as a JPEG. And to do that, I'm going to hit File, Save As. And again, I'm going to make sure that the format this time is a JPEG. It's just smaller and uh, more people will have access to it. Another thing before you save it as a JPEG you might want to do is flatten the layers. So I'm going to make sure I save this again. Okay, it's already saved. 
I'm going to save this as montage flat. So I'm going to hit layer, flatten image. Okay. And I can also make this a bit smaller. I can resize it or I could crop this down uh, so it's a little bit smaller. So maybe I'll make this seven inches. I'll take the height right out. Double click. Now I'll save this as a JPEG. This will ensure that it's a slightly smaller file. Okay, it won't take as much room. Again, to download, montage, maybe I'll make this my final montage. Save it as a JPEG. I could reduce the quality if I wanted to slightly. Okay. Hit OK, and I'm done. So now I've created a montage over here that's ready to be posted on the internet. I've got my yellow colors, and yeah, there you go. Montage in Photoshop Elements 9.